Uh, we haven't selected the team yet. I haven't even seen the wicket today, so I'll make sure I have a look before training and we'll make our decision tomorrow morning. Uh, probably exactly what I've seen yesterday. Uh, a wicket that was pretty hard and a lot of grass. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't seen the pitch today. I'll have a look and see if it's changed. Um, and then we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll give it another day as well, see how it pans out the rest of the afternoon and have tomorrow morning to make the decision. I'm not getting involved in uh, in any of that, to be honest. I'm here to make sure that the Australian team is 100% prepared, uh, and then we are ready to go tomorrow for a for a really important Test match. India are a very strong opposition. We've seen that. I've seen that throughout my whole career, and they'll be even tougher to beat tomorrow than they have been in the first two Test matches. That's for sure. I don't think so. I think it's more going to be about conditions. I think it's more going to be about working out what the best attack is to, to win the test match. Um, yeah, that's, that's my thinking. I'll obviously speak to, to Mickey as well today and, and get his thoughts. But yeah, I, I'm not that bothered about that. I, we've seen, um, I've seen India be successful against fast bowling and spin bowling. So I don't think we're necessarily going to pick the, the attack for that. It's more going to be what conditions are out there and how we think is best to win the test. Like I said, I'm not going to get involved in that. I'm here to make sure that this team is 100% prepared and um, you know, once we walk out in the field tomorrow, we play our best cricket. So that's done in the past. And I've seen throughout my career, a lot of people like to, um, like to talk about opposition. I'm not a, uh, that's not me. You know, I make sure I, I focus on this team. I make sure I focus on my own preparation. Um, and I'd like to see the bat and board do the talking tomorrow. Uh, who knows? We'll go and get a pair in this test match. Um, I'm then talking about my spot in the team as I was two weeks ago. So, oh, look, one innings, it's, it's fantastic. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's great to have made some runs, as I said, in Sydney to contribute to the success we've had in this um, in this series so far. But it's irrelevant right now. It's gone. Uh, it's a complete different wicket. We're in complete different conditions. And I'm on zero when I walk out to bat whenever that is throughout this test match. So, you know, my preparation's been no different over the last couple of days um, compared to Sydney. Obviously, I'm preparing on different wicket, but I've trained just as hard. My goal's exactly the same, to make sure when I walk out there, I've, I've given myself the best chance to be successful. And yeah, I've never been a big believer of the, the in form, out of form. It's about, you know, making sure you're doing all the right things. And, you know, there's days you have your day and there's days you don't, but it's about continuing to work as hard as you can to to be a consistent performer, and that's my goal. I don't think I've been as consistent as I would have liked um, throughout my career, and um, I'd like to improve that. Do you enjoy the, the fast pitch, though? Is it, is it not frightening, obviously, but get more nervous on the quick pitches, or do you...? No, I prefer the pace, to be honest. I think I've probably had my most success in Australia at wickets like the Gabba and here in Perth. I like the ball coming on. Um, I guess for smaller guys like myself, it means you don't have to try and hit the ball too hard. You can use the pace to your advantage. Uh, and they're probably the best conditions to face spin on because the ball bounces a lot more so you can you can hit through the line um, Yeah, but there's no guarantees is there? it doesn't guarantee anything you have to be at your best in wickets like this that do have pace and bounce It's really hard to start your innings You know there's you see a lot of players throughout this test match that all that'll get nicked off They'll find the edges of their bat, but I think once you get in Generally the faster bouncier wickets are as good to bat on as anywhere in the world I think they're going fine, to be honest. Obviously, they would like some more runs, but they've all had a piece of success in Test cricket, that's for sure. Both Davey and, and Sean have scored test match, test match hundreds. Ed batted beautifully on a seeming wicket in Melbourne and made 60-odd. 
So they've all had success. They know what they have to do to be successful at this level. Um, and they've done it in first, at the first class level as well. So, you know, I, I'm just really keen to see them go out and play with freedom. They've all played at the Wacker as well. So I'm backing all three of them to, to have a good test match.